Good morning! Good morning. I'm gonna make some breakfast. I was under the impression that I had an avocado to consume this morning and I don't, so I'm a bit devastated. I'm so hungry and all the food in the fridge is making me feel sick. The eggs that I consume are not vaccinated against salmonella and that to me is just an unnecessarily big risk that I take on the daily. I get the like sentiment of not vaccinating them, they, they're, they're like healthy chickens, but I am terrified every time I eat an egg. Yum! Yum. Made with love. So I don't have a coffee machine at home, which is genuinely heartbreaking and I need to do it, but I just, I don't want shit coffee. I want to invest in like an espresso machine and I'm just not I'm financially available for an espresso machine right now. So I'm going to eat this, then I'm going to go get ready and we're going to go get coffee and, um, oh, I have to go get my car. I've abandoned my car. So we'll go get my car, go get coffee, have some fun. You know what I mean? Girls day. So I will see you guys in a minute. I'm going to eat this egg. I might regret it. I don't know. Yeah, I might. Last night, I went to London and I took my car to the station, but then I got driven home from London. So my car is still at the station. Hold on, I have to feed my dog. I've just realized I defrosted her chicken this morning. Can you give dogs food poisoning? But I've defrosted it, so it's just been sad room temperature for like four hours. That's how you defrost chicken anyway, right? I don't know, I don't eat meat. Um, let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... I have to go pick up my car from the train station and I have a tummy ache. How can anyone expect me to do things when I have a tummy ache? That is absurd. Oh my god, where's my mummy? So that's my plan for the day. Okay, I actually have a haul for you guys. I've never ever done a haul or a try on before, but we're gonna do it today because I'm low-key very excited. I'm gonna explain where I got these clothes from as I try them. Oh, you're gonna pee on those clothes because I put them on the floor. I know your tricks, come on. This top is the first thing I got. It's from a brand called Drayden, which I've never heard of before, but it kind of gives me a mix of like vintage diesel and maybe like a Rick Owens kind of vibe. I have no idea what brand Drayden is. I've never heard of it, which is kind of where I like thread up because it's like a mix of a charity shop and a vintage store. And you don't have to know about like cool designers. You just like look on under the designer tab and it's like cool vintagey shit for like not even a third of the price it would have retailed at. Last night I picked my face and now they've turned into, I don't want to talk about it actually. I love charity shopping so much, but I never really know what to look for. And I don't shop in vintage stores because they're so overpriced. Got this red thing. It's a red North Face puffer gilet moment. So cute. $20. This is an American website. I got this stuff when I was in LA. This I got because now that I'm a dog mom, I, whenever I walk her, everyone's wearing beige and I felt kind of left out of the beige grind. So I got this and I feel like a neckline is very imperative to how nice a coat is and how good my day is gonna go. I'm wearing a coat and the neckline is cute and that's what I'm seeing when I open up my front camera. It's gonna be a good day. Oh, and the trousers I'm wearing, they're also from ThreadUp. $235 is what they retailed for. I have no idea how much I paid for them on ThreadUp, maybe 20 bucks. Actually, I have a link. You guys can click on the link and it'll take you to everything I bought and then it, they'll show you like similar items on the website. This coat is my favorite thing that I bought. So maybe second to this top actually, but look, hold on. I feel like this coat just proves my point about the importance in a, of a neckline. Do you know what I mean? I've been obsessed with this coat. I've li I literally wore it for like an entire day straight. I posted an Instagram picture and I was in it in my bed and people told me that I needed to go to, for gel, to jail. Shut up. I'm cooler than you, and I know that you know that. Do you know what I mean? Necklines matter. They matter. Because, like, the rest of the coat could do whatever it wanted. Unless it was cinching at the waist. In which case, it couldn't do whatever it wanted. Stop wearing cinched coats. That's, like, the strongest opinion I have on anything. Other than men. Corporate mum who? Someone should just have sex with me. This is the other shirt that I got. A fucking sleigh also. Oh, where's it from? Petite Studio New York. Never heard of it. Love it! Also, if you're like me and you live in a small area, all the charity shops are just like the same, like it's the same brands and the only sizes are like extra, extra, extra large and it's just not easy to like find cute things. So that was my little haul. I'm gonna go grab a coffee. But I'm on this new drink grind, right? It's a matcha iced latte with two shots of espresso and three pumps of vanilla syrup. It just energizes you and like... 
It makes you feel clean and fresh, which cappuccinos, they energize me, but I also feel like, I feel like I pour a layer of mud over my face whenever I drink a cappuccino. Not when you drink matcha. I'm gonna go pop this spot. I'm, I will catch you guys in 10 minutes. We're gonna go get coffee, okay? So put your shoes on, I'll be right back. actually completed one of my missions. You're about to hear the sound that my car makes when I switch it off. I just tend to drown it out with my headphones, which actually I don't think is legal, so I don't do that. Buy a new car, buy a new car. Oh, shut up. It actually sounds worse when I drive, hold on. I'm gonna give you an example. All right. Cat's got her tongue today. Pulling out, I hate pulling out. Aha. <laughs> My foot slipped off the brake. And someone saw it and then they laughed. That kind of thing tips me over the fucking edge, I'll be honest. It's like part nice human interaction, part I'm never going outside again. Can I get my license revoked for bad driving in a video? I love seeing cars just like mine drive past. Oh yeah, you thought I looked cool. In. Shh. She's such a loud lover. Who said that? Oh good. Guys, I'm literally gonna cry. Look what the girl wrote on my cup. I cannot explain to you how much I love the girls that work at Starbucks near me. They literally got me a Christmas card last year. That's a sign I should drink less coffee though. If anything, that's a red flag for, for me and my personal life. I hope that girl has a good day. All right, I'm going home. Just in the kitchen having my post shower, pre bed, drink and snacky. I had an interesting end to my day because I got a call from my doctor and he, I got a bunch of blood tests done and a scan done on my ovary. I have polycystic ovaries, which apparently from my understanding means when I have a period, the egg does not fully leave my ovaries. It sits on them and forms a cyst, which is why I'm in so much fucking pain and also why my irresponsible ass has never got pregnant because I never ovulate which is enlightening to say the least. Infertility sounds wonderful. I don't really care that I have it. Apparently it's kind of common. Hold on. I'll show you the fit. I'm not wearing any underwear. No underwear. No deodorant at bedtime. Okay. I'm a nighttime and a morning time shower because there are pros and cons to both that I cannot live without and refuse to give up. First of all, if you think I'm going to bed with the day's germs on me, you're fucking deranged. When I go night-night, I don't want to be riddled with little crawling, microscopic, spider-looking germs and bacteria. Equally, I'm going to shower in the morning because it sets my day off on a high. I shower for like 50 seconds though. Like just enough that I'm like, Soap's on the loofah, loofah's on the body, water rinse, I'm out. Only time my showers last for more than a minute is my everything showers, which happen Wednesdays and Sundays, like clockwork. Do you understand? I hope we're clear. Occasionally, I deviate from my schedule and don't shower for like four days in a row. But that's just a special little treat. So, when I take my night-night showers, and then I'm going to take one in the morning, why would I put deodorant on and clog up my sweet, innocent little armpit pores? I'd rather sweat freely. Same way, I'd rather air her out. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be wearing underwear to bed, partly because you're going to double up on your laundry, which is just silly. And if you're not doubling up on your laundry, that means you're wearing your day's underwear to bed. Don't do that. Any shower where I shave my armpits is above average. I need more water.
that it's my sister's. <laughs> God, I'm gonna need to pee so much tonight. Let's go to bed. I already washed my face and put BHA on and now I'm gonna put my night mask on. Done. Then I'm gonna smother my lips in their night mask. I like to sleep really lathered up. Thanks again for coming and hanging out with me. I had so much fun. Hope you guys are well and fed and happy and warm. And I love you. And I'll see you God knows when. Go out to sleep. Love you. Good night. Thank you to the Red Out for sponsoring today's video. And don't forget if you want to shop for the same stuff that I have, you can use this link and then you can use my code Madeline for 35% off. Okay, I love you, good night.